Hello lovely people, you are most welcome to English Lessons Online. In today's video, we shall be looking at some questions and answers on the weaver bed by Kofi Awono. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly do so by clicking the red button and press the notification bell beside it to get notified when we upload a new video. Let's get right into today's video. Question 1. One major theme in the weaver bed is A. Colonialism B. Humanity C. Poverty D. Farming The correct answer to this question is A. One major theme in the weaver bed is colonialism. Question 2. The weaver bed is written in A. Blank verse B. Rhyming couplet C. Free verse D. Guided verse The correct answer to this question is C. The weaver bed is written in free verse. Question 3. The weaver's excrement signifies the A. Harm caused by the colonial master B. Benefits of colonialism C. Pains of Africans D. Advantages of formal education The correct answer to this question is A. The weaver's excrement signifies the harm caused by the colonial master. Question 4. What literary device is used in the expression we washed the building of the nest. A. Metaphor B. Oxymoron C. Sarcasm D. Alliteration The correct answer to this question is D. Alliteration Question 5. The old shrines symbolizes A. Traditional African religion B. African heritage C. Shrines of Africa D. Religious festivals The correct answer to this question is A. The old shrine symbolizes traditional African religion. Question 6. And the fishes dry their nets by lantern light. This expression illustrates A. Oxymoron B. Sarcasm C. Simile D. Hyperbole The correct answer to this question is D. Hyperbole Question 7 The weaver bed has dash when he returns in the guise of the owner A. Good intentions B. Hideous motives C. Great plans. D. Clear conscience. The correct answer to this question is B. The weaver bed has hideous motives when he returns in the guise of the owner. Question 8. The persona sees the weaver bed to be A. A great person. B. A hypocrite. C. A racist. D. A politician. The correct answer to this question is B. The persona sees the weaver bed to be a hypocrite. Question 9. The impression created by the persona at the end is that A. Nothing has been lost. B. They have been able to stop the weaver bed from causing harm. C. The harm has already been done and things are belated for them. D. They have enjoyed the company of the weaver bed. The correct answer to this question is C. The harm has already been done and things are belated for them. Question 10. 
the persona's use of we without showing their real identity creates a humor b ambiguity c fallacy d laughter the correct answer to this question is b ambiguity we've come to the end of today's lesson thanks for watching Remember to subscribe to our channel, like the video and share it to others and let us know your score in the comment section. See you in our next lesson.